Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is me in the file feud so okay, I, I filmed this video about a month ago and I filmed it on my phone so it didn't come out good at all. The video like sizing didn't work white at all. So I figured out how to fix it so I'm fixing it and um, if this video seems really jumpy it's just because it's Originally, the way it sits right now, as I'm looking at it, it's a two and a half, hour, two and a half hours long of just random stuff. So I'm gonna sort in it down, put certain parts and pieces in it that you guys might like to see, and type going more in depth in my 1989 Dodge Ram Charles. So hopefully you enjoy and get back. Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another Bodies Live episode. As you can see, I'm in a different vehicle and this video is a little bit more high quality guy I'm on my phone. Let's turn it this way actually. So yeah, I am in a 1989 Dodge Ram also. And I'm trying to get it running. Not in this video, but I'm gonna look over some stuff and see if I can because as you can see the fuel tank is out so I gotta figure that out let me get the snow off the front end and I'll get to you guys after that took way too much time but here we go this is lift up twist please be honey freeze nothing and some I don't see the point of that. Okay. Got the battery which might have some souls. Got some in there. Oil, funnel, basic stuff. Lots of food. Uh, wiring. Looks pretty damn nice. That radio, radiator looks a little sad. Is this an AC compressor? I think so. Uh, I got a clutch fan here. This doesn't feel seized. Nope. Let's just like this pop in and see what happens. Oh, has some chows. Okay. Power steering pump is off. Don't know why, but it is. These hoses look like brand new. It looks like all the belts that are needed are here. Besides the belt that comes off right here, that would sit right here with the power steering pump. That's gone. Let me hop on in and see if it turns over. I already know this piece here is bad, but put the key in. No way. Wow. Stupid key. That goes. Hate filming with my camera. Dust light works. Let's see. That one should be when the door opens. Nope. That one's just on. I don't know. I think the radio does work though. Okay. <gasps> no way. I mean, 
know it's on us, Hulk, but... Doesn't sound bad. Okay, let me turn it up before the battery dies. Yeah, but I wish I have some starting food. I could spray some in now. See if it fires right on up or not. But I don't have any, so. I hate this, no. No middle console. Do you have this? Oh, this is a. Oh, no. That's not good. That's a little piece that's inside of here or whatnot. Which, when the key is to token out, it needs to lock this wheel. I think that's bulk. But, okay. That's not good. I got all of this stuff though. It has AC built in. Wow. Okay. Let me head back outside and look at a couple of things. Okay. One thing I'm looking for is, is there a eight cylinder or is there a six? Oh, this pump pump was a little loose. I got a cool one to go on it. So you that in a sec. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, it's a V8. Let's pop this off and see if it's... I think it's a throttle body injection. Set that there for now. Yep, throttle body injection. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, no, that's carburetor. Nope, it's not. Tail from these two things up here, it's two. Um, two nozzles or something. Some of them only have one, and then wires. That's how you know it's thought body. It looks like a carburetor, and it pretty much works like one. Inside there, there's two flaps. Uh, if I come over here to the throttle, which is right here, that's how you adjust so idle. See, opens, closes. These spray gas, oh, yeah, gas down into the cylinders through manifold. I think that's what that's called. Sorry if I'm killing it. <laughs> A manifold that goes through the cylinders. So, yeah, as I can see now, there's been a mouse in here, which is not a good sign. Let's get this back up in here. I want to see the inside post. Let's see how good this filter is. Oops. Okay, that's one big piece. Whew. Okay. Oh, on something. <laughs> I'll get that out one day. So, filter down looks far new. I think there's a brand new air filter on this thing. That's nasty. Not back on there. Read that if you want to. Made a medical. It's on top. And let's pull this out. Now if I had some starting fluid, I could spray it down in there, but I don't have any, so Fold this back on top here. Just, just come right on top like that. I'm missing something kind of important. I'm missing the main 
right there where that hole is. It's supposed to be a uh, started, a threaded piece of metal, like a long screw. It's missing, so that's a bad sign. This is something that a lot of, sorry about this camera, a lot of things don't have is this little intake here, which goes on the manifold. I don't know why, or the exhaust manifold. Let me put this back together. So that little piece of metal with the stock all the way up here, this has that threaded insole or the food on keeping that down. This camera does not saw it the greatest, but see that noise coming from right here. I wonder if the home works. I'll try that out next time I'm here. I was able to put everything back here down and put this or took everything back here out and put the seat down. It's in great condition. I mean it's stored, but it's in great condition. No metal console, I can sit here. My seat is in great condition. I don't know about up here and stuff. It's, I don't think it is right there. I think it's pretty messed up. The seat on the other hand isn't. That's my dull panel for this side. It's all, so you, it's all torn off. Which is funny, because the driver's seat's in pristine condition and the passenger side's not. A little weird, but you know it works. These armrests are great. This one's a little dirty. I am taking this home. This is my sending unit. I can't tell my gas tank's back here. Why am I taking... I'm not my house. I'm out. My friend Jake's house right now. This is where this truck's parked. Uh, let's see. Can I set my camera up? Let's see if I can get it to sit like that. Okay. So, the same unit, oh, your ceiling's sweepy. It's broke. Right there. Okay. Lock has it. I found the goddamn piece. So I'm gonna try gluing it or doing something to get it back on now. Because you cannot buy the sending unit. Anyway, this sending unit is discontinued and it has been since they made it. So, and it's impossible to find one that will fit in this gas tank. If I want to get one, it's going to be for one that's carbureted. Uh, if your car is carbureted, your fuel pump, which in this case my fuel pump's down in there as you can see. It's on the side of your engine block, okay? In my case, it's in the tank, it's a, a, it's a fuel injected, throttle body injected. So, yeah. So it's impossible to find one that's throttle body injected that's able to fit in here. Let me try getting this door panel on just to see what it looks like and then I'll get back to you guys. This is actually great to have no metal console. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out something to put here, maybe a bench seat, but I really don't want a bench seat. This is quite easy access, but it sucks because now I don't have a place to put anything. But this right here is broke. It's, it's not too bad actually. This looks great here. Let's see, it looks great. Don't know if my fuel gauge works, don't know if my temperature gauge works. Um, oil gauge, you know, oil pressure gauge. I was trying to think of what that was for a sec. Battery gauge. <sighs> It should be off right now. I gotta have a battery hooked up. So that probably doesn't work. I don't know if any of this here works. But 
I have a battery in it, so let me plug that actually back in. I want to test some stuff out. It's a battery. Bad battery. Negative. So it's grounded. Positive. I'll tell you something. Hit the half button. Holy pop. I feel like I'm in a monsoon. <laughs> this thing is giant compared to the thing I have been driving. So if you don't know, I drive a 1992 Jeep Cherokee XJ, the way you know. You want to be completely specific. Let's open this. Let's see what's in here. It's nice. Window coin. Um, the watch it for the. Okay. Let's see if these work. Oh, I got smoking windows. No. <laughs> AC. That one, I know that one works. Uh, uh, really? That down speaker doesn't fit. Let me just cut it out real fast. It's probably all they had. I wonder if that's the same over there. They sound pretty damn good. They're not in there too good, but... You sound okay. It's not good. Okay. It's missing the retainer clip. Oh, actually, it's just a screw. This looks like it's just in the end right there. Okay. Moment of truth. Nope. You can see why I don't like rolling down windows. Did you hear it go pop? It started sliding that way. Ah, freaks me out. <laughs> uh, it's missing its trim piece here too. Just set this up somewhere so it looks okay without falling off. Okay. And songs. And songs. That's perfect. Where's the Strayson? This is a uh, nineteen eighty nine Dodds. Warm trouser. It's black now. Yep. It used to be blue, as you can see on the door panels. It used to be blue. I'm glad they got this though, because I had a friend that got pulled over because this expired in two, three years ago. But he got pulled over because his car was red, and it used to be. Blue, yeah, it used to be blue. He got pulled over because he didn't change it for his Streisand. So I'm glad these people changed it. I don't know if this truck was used as a, a road truck or what, but it is nasty you now. It is nasty in this thing. Is this my box seat, Powerful? I swear to God. This is not my box seat, Powerful. This is one of the front seat coffles. This is just nasty and doesn't look nice. Oh, was there a flow mod? No, it's a seat coffle. This just doesn't look nice. 
I like the seat covers on it, mostly because there's uh, pockets all over them. It's kind of nice. They're high quality. They feel good. These seats are nice too. I I can get used to this. Wow. Ooh, that's a. Oh, probably not do this, but I'm gonna try. See if this is. I think it's a light key. Okay, let's. Nope. I don't think it's a white key. It probably had two keys that did completely different things. Yeah, it's not the white key for that. It fits, but also that key fits in like everything. Let's see if my key for my Jeep fits in it. Yeah. It's not the white one, but... So I'm missing a key. I'm also missing the light that goes in here. I think that's what that hole is. If do you guys know down in the comments, just let me know. Oh, I know what these are. Never mind, I was gonna ask. You guys knew what those were. These are for coins. Quotos, nickels, dimes, what not, pennies. Let's see, actually. Let's see. That coin seen better days. Let's pop this out because there's coins in here. I don't know what coins. Is this pennies? Nope, dimes. I know in this video I'm just kind of screwing around with random stuff, but. <laughs> okay, let's, let's put these in here. Yep, this is exactly what this is made for. You can't hold that many, but yeah. Pull over, you gotta grab some, yeah. Oh, this pops out. Once Everything's gonna fall out of there. This gets right up in here so I can work with stuff. Super nice. Not really anything that I need to work on, but. I mean, actually, for me, yeah, it still is. But I think it's awesome mechanical. Oh, I wonder if we can see it walking. That would be dope. Let's take everything out of here. That's gone now. Let me pop this back. Oh, it has a plastic hinge. Oh, I hate that. Let's see. Oh, you can see that flat move. That's cool. I mean, yeah, I know it's not that cool, but it is pretty darn cool. Oh, it has a plastic hinge. I'm surprised that hasn't failed. Put my little ball back down. Don't worry, when I do get this thing and it's on the road driving and stuff, it will be clean. I will clean this thing out. It is nasty right now. It is absolutely disgusting. I got a vacuum and stuff. I love this Flomart. There's only one of them though. And I think the seat I'm on is actually broke. So, I'm here all day. I've been here for two hours now, so. I'm just screwing around working on this thing. Not working on it. Looking at it. <laughs> oh, let me hop on over here. Move this seat couple and just put it in the bar. There's my cool font bumper. But, okay, mom enough too. I need to get in the bar. Okay, honey. I'll bring a seat for you. 
This is gonna be great to go camping in. Has a roof fan, but it does open and close. So, excited for that. There's not a lot of room back there, but there's quite a bit that I could fit back there, which is fine. That's gonna be it for this video. No, it was kind of long, but kind of fixed some things. So, catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.